So we're gonna be recocking this sink because I have a uh, leak that was going into the back of the cabinet from the dishwasher air stop gap, that right there, that was leaking into underneath the caulking that was about 18 years old. And in order to do that, we had to remove the faucet as well as all the caulking. Unfortunately, because of the condition of the faucet, we had to use a torch. So the first step was to remove the um, garbage disposal there, as well as disconnect all the water lines, make sure the water is shut off uh, there, at least at the shutoff valves. And then we had to um, get ready to drop the garbage disposal. So that's what we're about to do here. So one of the things that we do in order to speed up the process, as you can see, is we're just going to cut that line there that is for the faucet and the weight for the retractable uh, faucet head. So now we're going to bring you up and show you the underside of the faucet and how rusted and corroded it is from all the leaking over the years. And this is why we ended up having to use a torch. But before we used the torch, we tried a few various different options uh, to get the lock nut loose. None of them were working. So rather than waste more time on that, applying heat to the metal threads allows it to expand and then when you remove that heat it contracts which allows the lock nut to loosen up and we were able to thread it down uh, after applying that heat. So as you can see how rusted the lock nut is, the threads going up to the under part of the countertop were just as rusty, if not a little more. We're gonna show you what that looks like here. There. I'll show you this side. So all that rust. It's making it really difficult to take that lock nut off. There's been a lot of leak in here. Now we gotta clean all that up. Alright, so how are we gonna clean all this up? It's mineral spirits. So that's what we're gonna use after we wipe it up a little bit. Mineral, the uh, mineral spirits will cut through the grease pretty well and it will help us also um, prime all the talking here that we're going to take out. That's what's up first. So we've sprayed the odorless mineral spirits onto the rag and then we'll also spray it over the caulking all around the sink and let it soak in. Um, right now we're removing the air stop gap so that we can get the caulking cleaned up at all places and have uh, easy time, easier time of uh, removing the caulking. And what we'll do is we'll just use a razor blade to start uh, cutting the caulking free after the odorless mineral spirits is soaked in and starts cutting away the uh, silicone itself and making it easier to clean up.
this part of the job is the most meticulous aspect of recocking either your sink, your bathtub, uh, around door sills, window sills, anything like that. And the reason is you have to remove all the old silicone in order for your new silicone to actually adhere to the uh, gaps and to make a tight seal. If you don't remove the old silicone, then what happens is they actually repel each other and you get gaps where water or air can uh, travel through. So if you're using caulking as a way to insulate your home from uh, heat transfers, then you want to make sure that all that caulking is removed before you try to reseal windows. In the case of the sink, again, you want to make sure that all the old caulking is removed so that that way you don't get water traveling in spots where you don't want it. So now we're ready to start caulking around the sink and uh, what we did right before this is put one last spray of uh, the odorless mineral spirits around the edges wiped it down and then let it dry for about 30 minutes uh, just so that we would make sure we'd had a very clean surface for the silicone to lie on And here's the finished look after tooling the silicone with a basically a credit card uh, corner so that we could get a nice smooth edge to it. We also did a uh, crystal clear on the backsplash and the back part of the counter there. And uh, the other nice thing is that mineral spirits helped us to be able to um, clean up the edges very easily so that the residue of the silicone didn't leave a whole lot of markings uh, outside of where right where we want it to be this is a nice way of being able to get clean lines without having to mask off the area that you're going to be putting caulking in okay so we have new faucet put in caulking all the way around, especially behind. As you can remember, that was pretty nasty looking. And we got everything put back down below. <laughs> 